how to change a GPC SEC column set. Before we get started, a few warnings. When changing a column set, make sure your new column set is appropriate for the mobile phase of your instrument. If the mobile phase and column set solvent are different, only mix miscible solvents. Be aware of any salt or additive in the mobile phase in the column set or instrument that can precipitate. For additional details and information, please refer to the column manual provided with each column. Step 1. Locate the current column set. Before you do anything, make sure the flow is off and that the DC power on the TDA is off. For this demonstration, we're going to use a TDA. If you're using a 270 or an RI only system, the columns are typically located in a column oven, such as the one shown here. The column set in the TDA resides on top of the module. The tools you will need to change the column set consist of two wrenches, one adjustable wrench large enough for the column and a 1 quarter or 5 16 inch wrench depending on the tubing fittings that are used in your system. Step 2. Disconnect the current column set. The flow should be off, therefore there should be no mobile phase leaking out of the column or tubing during this process. Step 3. Unplug the new column set. Step 4. Determine the flow direction for the new column set. Columns are designed for the solvent to flow in a specific direction, which is typically indicated by an arrow on the tag or column label. Make sure this directional flow is maintained throughout all columns in your set. Column fittings come in variable depths. Make sure that the fittings in your system are the appropriate depth for your column set. Step 5. Connect the inlet to the new column set. Confirm which side of your column set is the inlet using the column's flow direction marker and use the wrenches to connect the inlet tubing. Step 6. Turn the flow on. By waiting until the mobile phase eludes from the column, you will minimize the amount of air introduced to the system. Step 7. Connect the outlet line to the new column set. Step 8. Replace the module. Once the module is in place, turn the DC power back on and you're ready to go.